Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Thinking in Pi and Short video series. Today's discussion point is debugging or rather tips and tricks of debugging. When we start developing something, we first frame our logic and put this in logic down as code and try to run against the chart. And it's a common scenario that we run into problem and the output is not same as what we expect. No programmer will be able to get it right the first time. And debugging is part and parcel of any developer's uh, life cycle and the skill set. When the things does not work as expected, there can be two reasons for that, right? So one is the programmer is unable to identify the problem. And second one is programmers do not know how to fix the problem. So the debugging comes into play in, in case of first scenario where progr programmer is unable to identify the problem. So if you don't know how to draw a line, you just need to refer to the reference manual and find out how to do that uh, using the pine script code or any any code which you're implementing but you don't know um, you're drawing a line but it's not coming in the way um, you expect it's coming in different areas you don't know what the problem is that's where the debugging comes into picture okay so um, there are a few the tools which we can use in pine script to debug and let's go through it through our demonstration. So the first tool which we are using, which is very easy to use for everyone, uh, is plots. Like, you know, you can uh, you can debug most of the things, most of the simple things using plots. Um, so let's say I have developed a simple program here, which is to, um, you know, plot super trend. So I, have, um, I put a simple variables, uh, simple calculations uh, down, and I've, uh, I, I've, I've created this uh, indicator here. But when I apply to the chart, I don't see any super trend here. So you can see that uh, nothing is coming up. So and also if I go to the data window here, there is nothing here as well. So it's super trend is coming as uh, NA values. So what's going wrong here? So let's de debug step by step. First thing is um, what I'm trying to calculate here is top distance. Top distance is ATR star multiplier, right? So let's see whether that is coming up fine. So stop distance. So I'm just printing stop distance here. And see that I'm using a option display is equal to display data window. That's because I don't want the debugging plots to come on the chart, uh, but they can come on the uh, you know debugger or the data window here. So um, I just need it here. I don't need it on the chart. That's why I'm using display dot data window here. So it's not mandatory, but uh, if you are using something for debugging, that's uh, it's easy to you know put this and. Even if you don't remove it later, you can keep it for debugging purposes later on. Um, you don't need to. Um, you don't need to do anything, right? So okay. So now we are printing the stop distance. You can see that stop distance is also zero or uh, NA. So why is that? Okay. So there's a mistake here. I'm using var. So when I use var, we as we know before that uh, you know it's only assigned once and it won't assign on every bar so that's why what's happening stop distance is assigned on the first bar and the atr on the first bar is zero is na because um, the length you know uh, atr for first n bars will be na because it needs a lot of first, at least n number of values to calculate an atr so that's why this is coming as na and leading everything else to na so what i need to do to fix this I need to remove this var so let's remove this var and see what happens okay now you can see that stop distance is coming but super trend is still na so in order to check what's happening we'll check our next uh, parameters by uh, by stop current sell stop current by stop and sell stop so let's uncomment these values and see what's happening okay you can see that by stop current and sell stop current are coming fine but you can see that buy stop is an A, but sell stop, uh, sell stop is just uh, is equal to sell stop current. Nothing is changing. And also, let's do one thing. Let's also uncomment this line and see what's happening with the direction. So if you see this, okay. So the direction is always one. It's not changing. So something going wrong here, and something going wrong here. So what can be the issue? So you can see that um, the buy stop is here. I'm using the same buy stop and buy stop current here, but it's not it's not assigning this. So the reason can be that the first uh, instance of buy stop, right, which we are assigned to. So this is the buy stop which we are initially assigned to. So that is NA. If that is NA, math mat dot max will also result in NA. 
right? So mat dot max of NA and something will always be NA. And that may be the problem which is happening here. So in order to fix that, what we can do is we can use a non-zero value here by stop true by stop current. So it's just checking a non-zero value. So we'll do the same thing here uh, for the sake of consistency. So we'll stop to sell stop current. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Right, you can see that rest of all the things are fixed now because this was the initial by stop current was NA. So math dot max was resulting always in NA. And since direction is initial direction is set to one. So this by stop was always getting NA. And since by stop was always getting NA, the direction change condition was also not applying because of that direction kept on being one and uh, you know it, it never changed so because of that we were having all the problem now we resolved everything you can see that the super trend is um, coming up nicely and the and the chart here right so that's how uh, you know this is just an example of how we can do it you can put us you can put um, the plot statements for every values you want to debug and what to understand what's happening and then if there is a logical issue you can think what can be that issue and uh, correct them right so um, this is how you can use plots to uh, debug uh, something in your program but plots cannot be used for everything for example plots can only print uh, numerical values and it cannot uh, print string values and also you cannot use plots inside um, you know local scope uh, inside a loop or inside a condition statement so uh, in those cases we have another thing uh, another feature called pine logs um, there are a few methods uh, uh, which pine, pine script provides log.info log.error and log.warning which you can use to debug um, you know um, the values the non-numerical values are something you want to do, put it in a loop so let's take a uh, small look at um, how that can be done so i have a simple program here so what i'm doing here is um, so i'm calculating sum of numbers from 0 to 10 right and in a loop and what i want to do is i want to print the values of uh, sum at, at each iteration i want to see if it's happening uh, correctly at each iteration so in order to do that the first simple way of doing it is um, using log.info so i'll just do this here log.info so some might i should just copy this one okay so i'll run this one and see let's see what happens so nothing is visible here but if you go to um menu here the three dots here and go to find logs it will open the log menu and you can see that uh after some time you can see that the logs are printing that like iteration at uh, three is this four is this five is this and all these things but you can see that this is continuously printing the same value you don't need to be um, printing it all the time on all the bars um, because it's the same for every bar so let's say i just want it on certain condition or certain bar you can do um something like this run only on the first bar so if bar state here at each first and it's only it's run it only for the first bar then what happens it just runs for the first bar right so you can see the time here and also the messages are being printed let's say um this is uh, this is just a simple example we're taking and let's say you can also do something like if bar, bar uh, if bar index is equal to certain bar index that also you can do uh, means if you want to debug what's happening at particular bar or uh, if you want to do something like in a last bar or a last confirmed bar you can also use something like um, this the bar state dot is last confirmed history means it will not print for the last running bar real time bar but it will print for the last confirmed histor historical bar so um, again so this is uh, this will be uh, on the previous bar so the previous bar time is uh, 1900 i can see that all the logs are printed at 1900 right so and if you want to do it only for the real time bar similarly you can do it for the real time bar instead of um, um, is confirmed history what you can do is you can also run this for real time so bar state dot is real time so when you do this what happens is it keeps um it keeps printing continuously 
right? So uh, just note that I'm using warning here because of that it is printing in yellow. If I use info as initially I did, uh, it will print in white. And if I use error, it will print in um, red. So error will not block or it will not stop the execution. It's just for our uh, use. Um, we can, if we consider that certain condition, if we, if we reach certain part of the code, uh, it is su supposed to be error, then we can use that in that way, right? So um, yeah, you can see that uh, it's continuously printing. How do we stop uh, stop it from continuously printing? So we can do some small trick. You can use some small trick for that. So display only once. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm using a varip variable, varip show log is equal to true. And then um, the next condition is is real time and show log, then only print this. And after the end of the iteration, i is equal to 10, first iteration. So I'm setting show log is equal to false. So when you do this, what happens is it will just print only once, right? So let's say another trick is like, um, you know, extracting all the values from the array and printing it outside. So let me show you that. So to in order to extract all the values, what you do is you create an array. So array is already created here. And I'm adding this sum to the array on every every um, every iteration, array.push is equal to sum. And then the same uh, varip variable here, uh, varip show log is equal to true. And if it's real time and show log, um, then put the warning uh, let's me put it as error just to show that how the error works um and once it executes the logger statement setting it show log is equal to false so let's try executing it now and you can see that uh, it just printed once and all the array values and uh, just note that um when you are using the logger statement these placeholders like you know um the variables uh, there are variable arguments like you know you can put any number of arguments after the first uh, log statement and what happens is these these placeholders will be replaced with these variables for example you see, if you look at this one if you look at the very first log statement so sum of iteration at zero is one so it means that sum of that zero gets replaced with the first one first variable argument one gets replaced with second variable argument and you can also put any number of variable arguments and uh, put the placeholders here right but if you put the placeholders and there are no variables here then it, it might throw an error or it may not throw an error it will just print as is okay so that's all about uh, debugging and logging uh, hope you enjoyed this and the session is helpful. Let me know if you um, if you have any further questions. Thanks very much.